Hi everybody, I'm the Reverend Jude Denning and I welcome you to our Sunday morning celebration service. Let me tell you why I'm sitting at my desk uh, in my home office instead of in the sanctuary on Sunday morning. Uh, today is uh, Thursday and this afternoon at a little bit before two, I got a phone call from my daughter who has been on an adoption list uh, for about 18 months now for their second child. And they got a call today that a baby was born in Louisiana and the birth mom uh, chose Taryn and Eric to be uh, his parents. It's a little boy. And they are flying off. Uh, so for you, it would have been Friday morning. For me, it's tomorrow morning uh, to New Orleans, to the New Orleans area to meet their new son. And I am flying as well to meet uh, them and to help, to help them with May, my two and a half year old granddaughter. So as, uh, as you see this, I'll be in, uh, outside of New Orleans with, uh, this new family. So that's why I'm not with you today, but there, you do have a treat today. Uh, I have uh, a couple of friends, um, Karen Taylor Good and Stowe Daly, and they are known as Stowe Good, and, uh, I've worked with them before and they are beautiful, talented musicians, and they uh, sent me a presentation last night uh, for you, and they'll introduce that to you in a little while. And before that, I'd like to share some announcements with you of things that are coming up that's important for you to know about. So, uh, the first one is our annual meeting. Of course, that's coming up on February 21st, and it'll be directly after service in our connection group and you can all of this all of these links are on our website on the upcoming events page uh, so that's our annual meeting if you are a member and you haven't uh, renewed your membership yet uh, i invite you to check the newsletter or to wait for your the next email will be just about the annual meeting and there'll be a link there and that'll be in just in a few days um, put i'm going to put that together when i'm traveling and there will be links in that email to renew your membership for this year. There'll be a link to uh, last year's minutes. There will be a link to the agenda for this meeting. I don't know if I said that already. And there'll be a link for the budget. So uh, I invite you to be looking for that in the next few days so that you can be up to date. If you are not a voting member, you are also welcome to come to this meeting. You just can't vote. We'll be, we'll be voting on, on, vo on board members. Uh, which I'll tell you more about when I get back. Um, what else did I want to say about the annual meeting? It's going to be short, uh, you know, because it's going to be on Zoom. And uh, so it's going to be short, no long reports. And uh, we'll, give, we'll just give you the highlights. And I'd like to keep it to about an hour. So come and join us for that on February 21st. The second announcement is our Good Grief Workshop. That's Reverend Cher Trenholm and I will be offering this grief workshop and uh, on February 17th from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. And we ask you to register for that. And we'll send you a link the week before uh, if you register on our upcoming events page on our website. That's, that's offered for a love offering of $15. Uh, but also know that no one is turned away. Come, come. And uh, we'll be praying. We'll be meditating. We'll be doing some... Uh, uh, journaling and sharing, sharing what we're grieving. So come and join us for that. And finally, yay, we have an outdoor live concert with Connected Souls coming up. And that is on February 27th. And that is outdoors. Uh, Connected Souls will set up on the patio and will be in lawn chairs, physically distanced, of course. So come and join us for that. The suggested love offering for that, as always, is $10. But you know what? Come. And uh, no one is turned away. And if it rains, there'll be a rain date for the next month. And I'll get you informed. I don't have that information right in front of me. But uh, if, it's, if it's raining, uh, don't come. And uh, they'll do it again in March. So that's the, um, all the announcements for today. And uh, I just ask you to hold uh, my family, my daughter's family in prayer. And uh, I'll see you a week from today being Sunday. And blessings to you all. And, uh, and I'll see you soon. Namaste.
Good morning, Unity of Stewart. I'm Stowe Daly. And I'm Karen Taylor Good. Together, we are Stowe Good. And we're coming to you today from Nashville, Tennessee. And trust us, we so wish we were right there in the same room yeah. with you. But this is the next best thing. We thought we would start with a meditation, if that's all right with you. Is that okay with you? Yeah, it's okay with him. Yes. <laughs> Good. So... We wrote this meditation song for one specific purpose, and that is to remind us and you to breathe. Yes, does anybody out there have a problem remembering to breathe? <laughs> you, oh. get, you, get, you get nervous, you get stressed, and then you just kind of hold your breath. Yes, I, so often I have found myself not breathing. <laughs> Yeah, and we know many of you are raising your hands, too. Yeah. So we invite you with this song to just get down into your center of your soul and breathe out the past and breathe in your beautiful future.
everybody is breathed up. I think. <laughs> what should we do? I now? think it's we've we've uh, invigorated our insides. How about now we move our bodies? Yeah. So stand up. Yeah. And shake it. Temple. Yeah. Shake it. Shake it. So the title of today's presentation is Ordinary Life. Yeah, and I was thinking about this. It's a, uh, it, it seems like in the past there's been kind of a, I don't know, a consensus that having an ordinary life or being ordinary, like there's something wrong with that. That's a, like a bad word. Absolutely. I had that. <laughs> like, I need to be special. Oh, yes. We need to have a special life. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I always would take the word an ordinary, an ordinary life. Oh, I don't want an ordinary life. Then 2020 happened. The year, the anything but ordinary year. Mm. Oh, my word. It, it feels to me like the, the, the whole world was chasing something. You know, something was out there. You know, it's, it's it's either in your hand, it's out there, it's over there, and it's everywhere but here. And somehow it's like, it's like the Mother Nature 
life just stopped us in our tracks. The entire world mm -hmm. has had to stop and re-examine. And I think, I think a lot of us find that once we get off, the step off the train and, and just settle down into our lives, that ordinary is very special. You know, there's, there's something sweet. You know, you were, like you were talking about with Dennis. Well, we were spending many months. We were three weeks out on the road. Yeah, you and I. Yes. And, uh, and here's my precious, amazing husband who just had a 70-something. He? <laughs> 78. It's hard for me to say that. Who just had his 78th birthday. And I know that life is short and getting shorter all the time. But I just thought, well... That's what we do. We have to be out on the road three weeks a, a month. And if I don't see this wonderful husband of mine, so be it. That's what I have to do to have a non-ordinary life. You know? Mm -hmm. That's the only way that we're going to get our music heard. And the only way we're going to finally end up on Oprah. Or, <laughs> <laughs> or Ellen or blah, blah. Yeah. And what have you found? I have found, I cannot tell you how much I love the end of a hard work day, which I also love our hard work yeah. days, where we're here working on getting our songs out to lots and lots more people than we actually could. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just like this. But then when, when Stowe goes home, I go downstairs and I sit in this ordinary chair that's right next to my ordinary husband's ordinary chair <laughs> and we have ordinary conversation about the day, about whatever. Mm -hmm. And we laugh and, oh, I've just come to treasure the ordinariness of that. Yeah. <laughs> Life is different, and I think, I think it's a gift that we've been given. And I know there's suffering going on. I know people have died because of this pandemic. Um, and I think it makes us appreciate the people that we do have in our lives. So I treasure, I treasure these small moments of joy that we have, and I, I hope you do too. And we have a song about that. <laughs> we do. Oddly enough. I think we should do it. Yeah. My favorite cup of tea. Kitty curled up next to me. The lawn has all been mowed. And dinner's on the stove.
So one thing that we have learned during this really bizarre year, unlike any other, mm -hmm. uh, is that life is short. Yeah? Yeah. And we were inspired to write this very short song, actually, <laughs> uh, by one of this century's great sages. And I'm sure they know who we're talking about. Yeah. Joan Rivers, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> who said? Who said, life goes by fast. Enjoy it. Calm down. It's, it's all funny. funny. So this song takes you through your entire life cycle in two and a half minutes. Easy. 
Well, Stone, I think there's a great big elephant in our living room here. Oh, really? I do. And I bet all of our sweet people know exactly what it is. Because there's a big elephant in your living room, too. <laughs> so, no matter how positive all of us positive people are, mm -hmm. and God knows we try to be positive thinkers and positive musicians, um, there's a lot of dark stuff going on, it really is, in the world right now. It's challenging for us. Yeah. For example... Hit it, Stone. <laughs> I mean, it's almost I laughable. Mean, you probably have your own list, but I mean, we've got fires. We have plagues. We have riots. We have, you know, difficult social issues. And division. Division. Like, like I've never. Like never before. I don't or, remember. At least ever. not in my lifetime. No. And we've certainly, you're right, we've never had a plague <laughs> in our lifetimes. No. Either. So it seems dark. It feels dark. I know a lot of us are dealing with depression. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's so challenging. I mean, every day that you wake up, you've got this, it feels like an onslaught of really yucky, heavy news. And you have to, you have to kind of let it go somehow and, and maintain hope. But it, it ain't easy. No, it isn't. But we were gifted with a song that I have to listen to at least once a day. <laughs> because it posits this theory. Tell them. What if we are not entering the tomb? What if we are exiting the womb? L. R. Nost says, Do not be dismayed by the brokenness of this world. All things break, and all things can be mended, not with time, as they say, but with intention. So go, love intentionally, extravagantly, unconditionally. The broken world waits in darkness for the light that is you. broken world awaits the light. 
Well, it has been such a joy to be here with you yeah. today. Thanks for joining us. It was easy to picture you. Mm -hmm. That's how powerful you are. <laughs> You're coming through that little camera. Yeah. Thanks for being here. And we just want to remind you of a couple things like, please remember to breathe deeply and often. Right. It's very important for life. Yes. And also, keep yourself moving. You know, don't, don't, mm. don't sit too much in your life because we just want to keep our temples active. That's right. Shake your temple. And remember that we all get a chance to embrace and celebrate our extraordinary ordinary lives mm -hmm. and while yes there is a lot of darkness going on in the world right now we also invite you to remember that you you are the light of this world and whatever corner you are in <laughs> wherever you are in this life you can shine you can make it a better place so thank you for doing that and remember according to the great sage Joan Rivers it's all funny. <laughs> and we have some cartoons to show you to prove that. <laughs> Laughter really is healing. It is. <laughs>
move into a love offering blessing. And if you uh, would allow me, I will pray for all of us. Uh, or if you know it, you can pray with me. In a universe overflowing with the allness of God, all of the needs of unity of Stuart and those we serve are instantly, constantly, and bountifully met. From every direction, known and unknown, expected and unexpected, our abundant good comes to us now. We are grateful. And divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. I give and receive always in love. Ah, let's just throw in the prayer for protection for the fun of it. The light of God surrounds us. We are light. The love of God enfolds us. We are love. The power of God protects us. We are power. The presence of God watches over us. We are presence. Wherever we are, God is. We are divine. Blessings to you and yours. And we'll see you soon. Bye. We are so very grateful for you and for your love offerings that keeps our spiritual home vital and alive. Here are some places where you can give.